Hey everyone, DSD Ghost here, back with another video for you. The weekly vendor reset for 7, 14, 17. Uh, I'm going to do things a little bit differently. Uh, I'm going to show you what's in the base of operations as far as blueprints and the special equipment vendor. Uh, and then I'm basically just going to read over um, what's in the dark zone, safe houses, and checkpoints. And just show you some screenshots of what is actually decent to buy. Um, there's nothing in the safe houses. There's no need to go check. Just a bunch of uh, first aid self heal mods um, that are 5.5%. Um, but there's nothing in the safe houses. Absolutely nothing. There's nothing in the base of operations other than the blueprint vendor um, and the special gear vendor, which I'll go over each thing individually. Again, there's not much this week. Uh, there's a couple good pieces of gear and some mods um, in a dark zone which I'll show you the screenshots of and the locations. But as far as the base of operations and the open world, as far as the safe houses go, uh, nothing that spectacular. But let's go take a look at the blueprints. Um, again, nothing that great here. We have an AK-47 USC, electronics, knee pads, holster, uh, high velocity mag, which for those of you who don't know is crit chance, uh, vertical grip, which is optimal, optimal range, electronics gear mod, performance gear mod. So nothing great here for the mods this week. Uh, we'll go over to the special equipment vendor. Take a look at what they got. Exotic, we got the Centurion with ex Expert and Skilled. Liberator with Self-Preserved, Intense and Meticulous. Uh, Pecan with Swift, Commanding and Pecan. Cassidy with Dominant, Meticulous and Boomstick. Historian, Vicious, Cool and History Repeats. Rhino, Expert Dominant, PP-19, Responsive, Confident, Hurried. Actually, that was a pretty decent PP-19 for an Alpha Bridge build right here. Uh, responsive, Confident, Hurried. Um, I like on my Alpha Bridge Hurried and having Responsive, Confident means that you guys use this as a secondary weapon just in case you need it, uh, but you have Hurried. So this is actually pretty decent. PP-19, pick that up in the Base of Operations Special Equipment Vendor. Uh, we have the Military AK. 47, Talented, Stained, Meticulous, M870, Capable, self Reserve, Brutal, uh, M1A, Deadly, Dominant, Swift, Black Market, RPK, self Reserve, Prepared, Accurate, Nothing Great There, Tack, Mass, Enduring, Already Garbage, we have a Striker, Mass, Skill, Power, Disorient, and uh, Electronics, Not That Great, Lone Star, 923, Always Disorient, Not Good, Hunter's Faith, 990, all resistance, burn resistance, stamina. This is not bad. 990, pretty high far or pretty high armor. Uh, roll off all resistance for you know skill, crit chance, something that you want. Uh, not bad. Hunter's faith. For those of you who use that, rapid chest piece. All resistance, skill haste, ammo capacity. Not bad. 1225. It's a little low. Uh, decent armor. Uh, roll off all resistance for health, and you got yourself a decent rapid chest piece if you look for one there. Base of operations, special equipment vendor. Uh, Alpha Bridge Chest, uh, pretty garbage to me. All resistance skill haze ammo capacity on this defense build. Uh, chest piece, not the best. Probably want to roll health, then you have low stamina. But it's okay. Uh, specialized backpack, health and bleed, not the best. Final measure, crit damage disrupt, not the best. Predator mark. Backpack, seal power, ammo capacity, roll this off. Not a bad backpack here for Predator Mark. If you're looking for kind of having skill power on it, uh, roll off the electronics, stamina, firearms, or higher electronics. Not bad. Predator Mark backpack. Operating knee pads are accomplished. Pretty garbage. Tactician authority. Disrupt lead burn. All resistance, not great there. Sentry, not good there. Uh, it's okay. I'll give you that much. Uh, Firecrest, not good. Reclaimer, not good. Steadfast, never good. Deadeye, not good. Uh, Banshee, not good. Savage Gloves, not good. Gloves of Nomad. Not the worst. Low armor, high firearms. 
SMG skill haste and roll that off for some crit chance and you have a decent nomad gloves not too shabby there electronics rolled health performance sticky bomb explosion uh, reload speed mag size uh, crit damage not in range and crit chance so nothing great here in the base of operations so, like I said before, I'm going to just read through what was in the uh, safe houses. Nothing really special there. Uh, so I'm just going to breeze right through it, tell you what is where, so you can go and check it out. Um, I will let you know what is actually worth going to take a look at um, and show you a screenshot of it. Uh, but for the most part, there's nothing that spectacular out. So in DZ9 safe house, you have the uh, heavy mag, Omega suppressor, uh, small laser pointer, and improved iron sights. So nothing really great there. And DZ-8, you have a tactical mass, rapid chest, resourceful backpack, prosperous knee pit, and a nimble holster. So nothing great there. Um, in the special vendor though, in DZ-8, you have Banshee gloves, which are okay. Um, that's about the only thing that I would really recommend. Um, which are right here on the screen for you to take a look at uh, the Banshee gloves for you um, That would be the only thing worthwhile DZ8 special vendor uh, In DZ6 you have an Alpha Bridge holster and a final measure vest. Those are two also pretty decent um, Pieces of gear in the DZ6 safe house which are I am showing you now uh, in DZ5 you have an extended mag flash hider vertical grip and a hollow sight, nothing special there. Uh, DZ4 safe house, you have a stamina mod, uh, signature, signature ability, resource gain, and a performance mod with sticky bomb damage, nothing special there. In DZ3, PX4, tactical vector, uh, SCAR-L, an SASG, M1A, and an M60, all of them with pretty bad rolls, so nothing great in DZ3. DZ2, you got a refresh mask, robust vest, uh, recovered holster, resourceful backpack, prosperous knee pads, and absolute gloves, which also are not that great. Um, in 5th Ave, which I will show you here, is a tactical SA58, not that great, but this uh, inventive backpack is pretty decent. Uh, you can see everything that's rolled on it right there. Um, it's worthwhile if you want to pick it up for a skill build. Uh, not bad there. Uh, other than that, it's first aid, self heal mod, Omega Suppressor. Uh, nothing spectacular. In West 31st Street, checkpoint, uh, SCSG, resourceful backpack, seeker explosion radius, and a 4 times ACOG scope with 14% um, accuracy. Uh, not the best anything there. Uh, West 34th, M1911, prosperous knee pad, stamina mod, with signature ability, resource gain, and extended mag. Again, none of the rolls there are great. Uh, West 39th Street is an X45. Uh, Savage Gloves, which are pretty decent if you're gonna wanna use it for um, a shotgun build. It's 1239 stamina. Um, roll off the enemy armor damage on it. Uh, shotgun damage and skill haste. So pretty decent right there, West 39th Street. Uh, support station duration mod enemy and a uh, heavy mag uh, so nothing really special there either other than the savage gloves uh, West 42nd Street MG5 ferocious mask nope my bad MG5 and a tenacious mask um, su support station uh, range and a compensator nothing special there uh, West 46th Street M1A uh, rehabilitated mask quick release mag um, nothing special there West 53rd, M1A, Enduring Mask. Now the stamina mod here in West 53rd Street is actually pretty decent. The roll isn't that bad and it's uh, skill haste. So if you need a stamina mod, roll skill haste. This is your spot to get it, West 53rd Street. And then you have a heavy mag, which isn't really that great. Uh, East 64th Street, you have an exotic damage resilience mod. Um, and support station duration range. Support station duration range. Nope, support station range. Jeez. Uh, nothing special there. Uh, East 61st Street is heavy mag, a compensator, um, uh, a hand stop, 
and a reflex scope. Nothing special there. Ease 58th Street, rejuvenating mask, reckless chest piece, relentless backpack, accomplished knee pads, recovered holster, decisive gloves. Uh, so nothing special there. Uh, Park Ave, we have a snub nosed Rhino T821 and a Please M4, which is actually pretty decent for uh, PVE. Um, you know, I'm showing you the talents right here. Pretty decent for PVE. Pick that up if you're doing a lot of PVE, which with 1.7 you most likely will be. So pretty good for PVE. Pick that up. M4 in Park Ave. You also have a Black Market SASG. If you don't already have an SASG and you're trying to get one, this isn't too bad with the response and I'm forgiving on it. Um, also, Park Ave, Black Market SAS, uh, SASG. Pick that up over there if you don't already have one. SVD and an M60, nothing special about those. Uh, East 53rd Street, SRS, accomplished knee pads, support station duration, and extended mag, uh, nothing great there. East 46th Street, Navy MP5, prosperous knee pads, uh, first aid ally heel, high velocity mag, nothing special in East 46. East 42nd, M870, accomplished knee pads. Uh, if you're looking for a pulse crit hit chance, that's an East 42nd Street. It's 2% pulse crit hit chance. That's an East 42nd. And then you have a hand stop. Uh, in East 40th, uh, you have a Vector. You have Savage Gloves, which are pretty good if you're using a Sniper. Um, it has Marksman Rifle, Damage, Crit Chance, and Skill Haste on it. So that's an East 40th. Savage Gloves, if you're looking for a Sniper build. Uh, marksman Rifle Damage, Skill Haste, and Crit Hit Chance. Uh, East 34th Street, M60, Refresh Mass, Sticky Bomb Damage, nothing special there. Um, East 34th Street. 31st Street, L86, Rejuvenating Mass, Turret Damage. If you don't have a Turret Damage mod, go pick that up at East 31st Street. Um, vertical Grip, and that is it for over there. And that wraps it up for our weekly vendor reset. Not that much here, but there are some pretty decent things for you to do or pick up. Um, if you guys enjoyed this new format of the video, please leave it a like and let me know in the comments if you'd like me to switch back to the other way, which I went individually to each spot and showed you exactly what's rolled on everything uh, in the safe houses, in the um, dark zone safe houses, and the checkpoints uh also leave a comment let me know what you think um whether you like the 25 minute full detail one or the nice condensed uh here's what's special weekly vendor reset uh thanks guys for tuning in hope to see you on my streams everybody have a great night